Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Manchester United forward Anthony Martial currently training alone. Manchester United forward Anthony Martial has been training away from the first team squad as he continues his recovery from an illness and looks to improve his fitness, according to the Daily Mail. The Frenchman last played for the Red Devils on December 9 and manager Eric Ten Hag has told him he will not be selected for action until he regains sufficient fitness. The Dutchman believes individual training is a must for players lacking much fitness and Martial is currently not deemed to be fit enough to train with the others due to the intensity and high work rate needed in a group training. Individual training for players returning from short or long-term injury or sickness is a standard practice at Man United with Lissandro Martinez and Casimero recently pictured training away from others before finally returning to action. However, the length of time it has taken Martial to regain fitness has raised eyebrows. Ten Hag is eager to have the £250,000 per week forward available for selection as soon as possible, given the lack of quality depth in the Red Devils' attack. The issue is not a disciplinary matter, and the 28-year-old is not currently suffering from injury, but he has simply struggled to regain sufficient fitness following last month's illness. Martial is out of contract at the end of the current season, and is expected to leave as a free agent, having turned down a chance to join another club this month. He started 7 out of the 19 appearances he has made so far this term, weighing in with 2 goals and an assist, and he will be keen to prove himself to prospective suitors in the coming months. Man United return to action next Sunday against Newport in the 4th round of the FA Cup, and it will be interesting to see whether the Frenchman would have become fit enough to earn a place in the matchday squad. Man United will only offer a new contract to 30-year-old star if he takes a pay cut. Rafael Varane's future contract with Man United is reportedly contingent upon the defender accepting a significant salary reduction. The 30-year-old central defender joined the Red Devils in 2021 for a fee of £41 million. Many believed that Varane had signed a four-year contract at Old Trafford. However, it has only been recently revealed that the French defender signed a three-year deal with the club with an option of an extra season, which means Varane will become a free agent at the end of the season. According to journalist Alex Crook of Talksport, Varane will only stay with United if he decides to significantly cut his salary, which is now among the highest in the team after leaving Real Madrid, Crook said. When he was signed, it was dressed up as a contract to the summer of 2025, when actually it turns out it's a contract until the end of the season with a year's option. United have decided not to take up that option. They would still like him to stay, but on a dramatically reduced wages. I'm not sure he would be keen to do that. It's typical of the business United have done in the last few years, that a defender of the caliber of Varane could leave the club for free. The former Real Madrid defender will have to agree to cut down his wages to prolong his Old Trafford career. The World Cup winner's future at the club has looked uncertain, with manager Eric Ten Hag sidelining the defender from his starting eleven and using other options in recent months. Man United are looking in the market for a young centre-back and they have been linked with Ronald Arojo, Lenny Yoro and Giorgio Scalvini. All these young defenders could develop better in the presence of a partner like Varane. Man United expect Facundo Pellestri to join Granada on loan for the season. Manchester United expect Facundo Pellestri to join Granada on loan for the rest of the campaign, according to Manchester Evening News. The Uruguay international made his debut for the Red Devils in January last year, but he has yet to become a key player under manager Eric Ten Hag. Pellestri played second fiddle to Anthony for the right wing role last term. The competition has become stiffer this season, with Alejandro Garnacho's success in the position. 
aside from Garnacho, Palestri has dropped behind Ahmad Diallo in the pecking order after his injury comeback, hence United are expecting him to move out on loan. The 22-year-old is likely to end up at Granada this winter. Manchester Evening News claimed that United could eventually sanction his exit. His contract expires next year, but there is an option for another 12 months. The winger has established himself as a key player for his national team, but has yet to do so at club level. With Granada, he has the chance to secure regular playing time. Palestri previously had a frustrating 18-month loan spell with Deportivo Alaves in La Liga, but he is now more matured and will be aiming to make an impression in the league. Granada are currently in a relegation battle in the Spanish top fly. They are 5 points adrift of safety. If Palestri can help them beat the drop, the club could consider a permanent move. Otherwise, there will be clubs across Europe who could be interested in signing him. PSV Eindhoven are one of his admirers, but they could also make an approach this summer. Pellestri is said to become the fifth United player to live on loan in the current transfer window after Donny van de Beek, Jadon Sancho, Hanna Baal Mejberi and Alvaro Fernandez. Ben Foster voices his belief in Rasmus Hoyland following clinical performance against Tottenham Hotspur. Former Manchester United goalkeeper Ben Foster praised Rasmus Hoyland for his performance in the 2-2 draw with Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday evening. Hoyland came away with a goal and an assist in the Spurs match, proving to be one of Man United's standout players on the night, while also showing further signs that he is adjusting to life at Old Trafford. It didn't take long after the match for Foster to sing Hoyland's praises, specifically his quick thinking and powerful shot that resulted in United's opening goal. The retired goalkeeper went so far as to say that Hoyland's powerful shooting ability is what will earn him success at Old Trafford. He said, when he gets the ball out of his feet and on his left foot and unleashes one, any goalkeeper in the world is thinking, please don't shoot. It was ridiculous. Foster went on to claim that Hoyland's slow start to life in Manchester is due more to a lack of supply from his teammates rather than poor performances up front. Retired left back Paul Robinson, a guest on the podcast, agreed with Foster's assessment, reiterating that the 20 year old needs services. Robinson said, all Man United teams, when you watch them in the past, they've always had service. The wingers have always provided for the center forwards. Hoyland was goalless in his first 14 Premier League appearances. However, he has recently found his feet, scoring in both of his past two matches against Aston Villa and the Spurs, respectively. The Danish striker was a lot quicker of the mark in the UEFA Champions League, however, scoring five goals in six appearances. Given that Hoyland scored off his only shot in the Villa game, as well as his only shot against the Spurs, it appears as if Foster is correct in his assessment, both in terms of the striker's clinical finishing ability and his lack of supply. Direct conversation with Eric Ten Hag convinced Ahmad Diallo to stay back at Man United. Manchester United problems on the right have been well documented with Anthony letting manager Eric Ten Hag down big time. The Dutchman also had a public falling out with Jadon Sancho and the Englishman joined Borussia Dortmund on loan in January. The severely underutilized Facundo Pellestri is also on his way out and set to join Granada on loan. The reason the Uruguayan has been allowed to depart is because of the return of Ahmad Diallo from a long-term knee injury he had suffered during the preseason. This was supposed to be the Ivorian's breakthrough season after a fantastic loan spell at Sunderland last term, where he won the Young Player of the Year award. There have been persistent rumors linking the former Atalanta starlet with a loan exit in January, with multiple Premier League clubs interested, but as the people's person had pointed out, the Ivory Coast International will not be allowed to depart in the winter transfer window. 
Further light has been shed on this by transfer guru Fabrizio Romano, who has revealed that the decision was taken after the winger met with the manager, who assured him of regular minutes in the second half of the season. The route of playing in the second division was quashed by the player, as he did not want to represent a team other than the Black Cats, and hence, the Middlesbrough option did not materialize. Ahmad has impressed in a training and during his cameo against Nottingham Forest, and he deserves a chance to stake his claim in the first eleven. Arsenal joined the hunt for Jared Branthwaite. Arsenal are set to rival Manchester United in the race to sign highly rated Everton centre-back Jared Branthwaite. The Sun revealed the London club have joined their northwest rivals in their admiration of the 21-year-old. Mikel Arteta appeared to have doubts over Gabriel Magalhães earlier in the season, with the Brazilian starting from the bench in Arsenal's opening games. Similarly, Jakub Kivior has not impressed in his brief cameos in a Gunners shirt following his £21 million move from Spezia last January. As such, a new left-sided centre-back may be a priority for Arsenal this summer as they seek to recapture the form which saw them lead the Premier League for the majority of last season. Branthwaite, who operates on the left-hand side of the fans, has been drawing rave reviews across the footballing world at the heart of Sinditch's defence. All Trafford scouts are believed to have relied their positive reports on the defender back to club officials, with United designating Brent Thwaite as their top defensive target this summer. The centre-back has even been linked with a move to Spanish giants Real Madrid, who are reported to be looking to sign a left-sided centre-half this summer. Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti was actually the man to give Brent Thwaite his debut at Everton in 2020, and if there is a single person in European football who knows a good central defender, it's Ancelotti. The defender joined the Merseyside club from Carlisle as a 17-year-old in a deal worth £1 million. Four years later, officials at Goodison Park are reported to have slapped a £100 million price tag on their Rolls-Royce of a defender. Everton are facing acute pressure from financial fair play regulation. However, having fallen foul of the profit and sustainability rules of the Premier League, which side have already been imposed with a 10-point deduction in November, but fresh breaches may mean another deduction is yet to come. The Merseyside club may, therefore, require a quick cash injection this summer to stave off any further penalties going into next season. 19 goal striker, wanted by Man United, has told the club where he will play after this month. Man United will sign a striker in 2024, and one of the names on their list Heading into the January transfer window was Stuttgart star Serho Guerassi. The 27-year-old has taken German football by storm this season, scoring 19 goals and providing two assists across the 16 matches he has played in. The Guinea International also had a very attractive 17.5 million euros release clause in his contract, but that has now expired as of mid-January. According to Sky Germany's Florian Plattenberg, Verassi has made the decision to stay in Stuttgart for the remainder of the campaign, despite more English clubs inquiring about him over the last few days. Interest in Verassi will likely return during the summer, especially if the striker continues to score goals in the Bundesliga. Man United will very likely address their striker position then, and it remains to be seen if the Stuttgart star remains an option for Eric Ten Hag following their interest ahead of the January window. Man United should look to beat Arsenal to blockbuster loan deal for Karim Benzema. Manchester United should look to beat Premier League rivals Arsenal in signing Karim Benzema on a short-term loan until the end of the season. The Frenchman netted a stunning 31 goals for Real Madrid last campaign, but he made a surprise move to leave them to join Al-Ettihad on a free transfer last summer.
The 36-year-old has scored 12 goals from 20 outings for the Saudi Pro League champions, but he is currently weighing up a potential return to European football. Team Talk have claimed that Arsenal are lining up a blockbuster move to sign the Ballon d'Or winner on loan, but in our view, United should look to beat them in the pursuit. The Red Devils have netted six goals from their last three top flight games, but they continue to remain one of the lowest scorers in the Premier League this term. Rasmus Hoyland has scored in each of his last two league appearances, but those are his only goals in the division since his arrival from Atalanta over the summer. The Dane seems to be finding his feet after a frustrating start, but signing a player of Benzema's caliber would improve the club's prospect of making the top four. As things stand, the Red Devils are eight points adrift of the final Champions League spot occupied by Arsenal, but they have another 17 games left in the Champions League. The club need a long winning run to reduce the deficit. Benzema may not play 90 minutes with the league's intensity, but he has the knack of making goal contributions. Despite being 36, the former Leon man remains very good with the ball at his feet. At Madrid last season, he completed 38 passes per game with an accuracy of 87%. If United want to pip the Gunners into the top four, they should consider a move for Benzema ahead of the London club. Mikel Arteta's side could cement their position with the Frenchman's arrival. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.